So with the, with the emergence of the um, uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus, um, many of the researchers in my field have been waiting for years that uh, such a dangerous virus actually occurs. We didn't know when it's going to happen and how it precisely going to look like, but we all were preparing for um, this situation. In my particular case, that is uh, the computational design of antibodies that neutralize such viruses or uh, the computational design of immunogens that um, we could use to immunize, uh, immunize uh, people. And we have been over the years developing computational methods uh, to do that and improve our you know, means to, to get to therapeutic antibodies and ultimately to a vaccine. Um, and we have been testing and applying those technologies to other viruses. So we have been working on the HI virus, on uh, the influenza virus, on the Ebola and Marburg viruses, which are all very you know, deadly and uh, uh, difficult viruses to target. But the same technologies that we have been developing are now applicable to this new uh, and pandemic threat. So um, what we do right now is in collaboration with our vaccine center, still at Vanderbilt University in Nashville, we are isolating antibodies from survivors, from people who have been infected. And we determine which of those antibodies neutralize. And my group specifically predicts the structure of those antibodies and docks them to um, the viral uh, surface protein in order to understand how these antibodies engage the virus. We can also optimize the sequence of those antibodies to improve their uh, therapeutic potential even further. And once we understand how they engage the viral surface protein, we can move ahead and uh, engineer mutagens, small proteins that mimic the portion of the viral protein that is engaged by the antibody. And these immunogens, we can then present to the human immune system in the hope that uh, similar protective antibodies are um, elicited. I do expect, you know, now hundreds of research teams started to develop uh, therapeutics and um, also vaccine candidates. So it's hard to predict how fast we want to see therapeutics uh, and uh, vaccines, but I think we will uh, have uh, maybe therapeutic antibodies as early as the end of the summer, um, and hopefully a vaccine as early as, um, as next year. So I think we're going to overcome um, this uh, disease and not by herd immunity, uh, but by uh, uh, treatment strategies that will be developed. Um, it's difficult to predict which of these strategies is ultimately going to be uh, successful, but we all expect that um, a few of them will be successful in a, you know, on a science time scale, relatively short period of time. Now, um, how will this um, disease uh, change our world? I think, um, you know, in, in many bad ways, but also in some, some good ways. I mean, we all hear about the death toll and the economic impact. On the other hand, you know, right now we experience um, international collaboration in science via, you know, online means is uh, just being taken to the next, to the next level. So I think they're going to be quite uh, substantial positive and negative effects, but I believe um, we also see how humans around the world really, you know, come together. Um, this is one threat for the, all of humankind, and I think uh, if, if we together can address uh, this threat, this will be good practice for things like climate change and other uh, global uh, uh, threats that will arise, you know, the next uh, the next centuries.